Alright everyone, happy Friday, my name is MBZ and I play Pokemon on the internet and that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. We got an RU game against Zomio8 from Skype, kind of hit me up, it was like, on RU match and I have a team and I was like, oh I don't have a team but I'll make some things and put them together and see how we do. And that's basically what we've got, so he has like Regenerator Walls and Tangrowth and Slowking, bit of a pain to deal with, but uh, I do have a little bit of an ace up my sleeve which is Swellow. I don't believe Swellow is uh, RU, I think it's NU, but man this thing is so quick and it's really awesome so you know I wanted to use it because I use it quite a lot in fourth gen and, hey I wanted to use it more right now so that's what I do I lead off with it against the Whimsicott unfortunately I don't really want to take a stun spore because that's what I'm thinking he's going to go for and it ends up not being the case I could have just U-turned and broken his sub but no he uh, subs on my switch to ride on as uh, he goes for leech seed now and I'm like okay well I got to break this sub so the best thing I can do is probably rock blast nice thing about this ride on is that uh, kind of sort of pseudo built to deal with these kind of things because rock blast you know break subs and then can hit after subs so it can stop focus punching things and you know good stuff like that so uh, it turns out to be kind of useful in this situation though not hugely beneficial because he is going to end up taking health back from me anyway because he has leech set up and now he can kind of sit in here for a while and just sub on me as things go on but I just want to get stealth rock up that seems like a good idea just to have it up at least for the remainder of the game and uh, just sit in here and maybe just find an opportunity to switch out um, at some point. I don't really want to be taking more damage. I know he's going to continuously sub or even maybe on call. That is a possibility. So I'll go into my Rotom to dodge the possible Leech Seed if he was predicting my switch uh, and also to dodge the on call if he wanted to go for that. And he does want to go for that. I go into Rotom and realize, wow, Rotom can't actually do anything because I have Leaf Storm and Thunderbolt as my offensive moves. Uh, I have Pain Split and Will-O-Wisp as well, so I can't really do anything to him. So I'm going to go out into my Clefable. Actually works out really nicely because he ends up taunting and he can't really do anything to Clefable because obviously with Magic Guard Leech Seed doesn't affect me, so I'm just kind of like chilling here like, oh, I can just fire blast you and you'll die, right? That's perfectly good. Um, now, I'm a little bit afraid of him encoring me into fire blast and then going into something that can resist it. So, I do... I Do, do I stay in? And, I, I don't think I do. I think we both switch. I think I switch um, fearing him to go for the encore, uh, and he actually switches into a slow king predicting the fire blast. I don't know. Yeah, yeah he probably could have encored and done that instead. We decided to be a bit more proactive and try to go straight to slow king. I could have predicted that and gone for the thunder because I do have thunder on that Clefable set but I'm going to end up going into my Swallow which works out pretty nicely because I get the guts boost from the poison orb on the double switch and then don't take any damage but I'm able to U-turn out and get the guts boosted U-turn off on the Slow King showing me that he is basically fully specially defensive because that does a huge amount of HP almost half his health is now gone and um, works out pretty well but I'm going to go back into Clefable threaten him with the thunder uh, don't really mind if I get burned because of course again Clefable has magic guard so it's perfect thing to go in and take schools so uh, you know it doesn't really matter if he gets that percentage chance and I decide I'm gonna go for the gravity here because I don't want to miss. I don't want to miss my thunder and look like an idiot. So I go for the gravity first and then I'm like, okay, now I'm going to go for thunder. I um, unfortunately take a Psy Shock in the process, meaning my health is really diminished. Um, I don't have any form of recovery because I have three offensive moves plus gravity uh, with life orb. So it's kind of uh, that sort of Clefable set. Unfortunately, he uh, he knows what I'm doing. He knows what this Clefable is up to and he goes into his Nidoqueen Queen to take the thunder very well and uh, kind of takes this opportunity to set up his Stealth Rock not knowing, I guess, that I also carry blizzard um so that's really nice actually as he gets himself up a stealth rock i smash it with a blizzard unfortunately it's not going to be able to take it out Lizard with 69 apparently didn't know that but hey that's a nice thing about the uh the the damage calculator the damage calculator the health bar on the opposite side in the in the desmume that's what's it helps me to see numbers anyway um i'm gonna die at this point so i don't really see any point in switching out my clefable i'm gonna just go straight to that thing and then i'm going to this uh uh, Swallow. A funny thing is, gravity. I still, I think, is still up. So he, if he was faster, he could have earth powered, and actually, Swallow would have probably died to an earth power, which would have been quite funny. But uh, ends up, obviously, I am faster because I'm a goddamn Swallow, and hang out with the facade. Now gravity goes away, so uh, none of that nonsense can go on anymore. So goes into Slow King, and this whole match, like this thing with Slow King, I have is, I don't know whether I can kill it from like that kind of range with a facade. Like, look how much U-turn is doing. That's unstabbed. It is super effective, so it's getting quite a bit of power but I'm thinking you know with facade with the extra stab boost and everything maybe it would be able to take it out and I keep being unsure so I keep just kind of 
uh, going for a U-turn as opposed to facade. And it really would have been nice to facade on that turn instead because he did slack off there. Um, so, you know, if I just stayed in facaded, he would have slacked off, not been able to get up to a huge amount of HP where he could have lived another one. And then either would have to sacrifice Slow King or go into something else to take a massive hit. But ends up uh, not working out, I guess, because, well... Um, yeah, things happen. What did I just happen? So I'm I'm losing my frame of mind of thoughts right now. Uh, yeah, so I went into Rotom after the U-turn and I miss a Will-O-Wisp and then he T-waves me. So kind of frustrating. This Rotom's actually going to get screwed over pretty badly this match. Like, if you want the worst things in the world to happen, this Rotom can basically ensure it because now that it's paralyzed, well, Parahax is going to come into play and uh, we'll certainly see that. But for the moment, I don't get paralyzed on the first turn. I end up going for T-Bolt over Leaf Storm, thinking it would do a little bit more and then maybe I could go for the Leaf Storm on the next turn and take him out. But, um, well, it's a bit disappointing. So I'm going to now go for Leaf Storm on this turn. Um, unfortunately, he's going to go into Tango, so it's probably not going to do much, but even less fortunately, I'm going to get paralyzed on the switch, so I don't get off any damage anyway. Um, I decide I think I'm going to go for a Will O Wisp at this point, trying to burn the Tango. Potentially, it's a physical one, I don't know yet, um, but he actually over predicts things. So I'm going to go out into something else and go for Leech Seed. I don't get paralyzed, but I miss the Will O Wisp, so two times in a row I've missed Will O Wisp. I've been paralyzed once, so this Rotom has not had the best luck record track currently, and it uh, doesn't look like it's going to be going any higher at the current point uh, unless I manage to break out paralysis and get off a will from this turn. Take a hidden power to the face, probably fire potentially does super effective damage but I take it pretty well being a, a more defensively based Rotom unfortunately get paralysed again so all aboard the Paralysian train, the Paralysian train where all the paralysed get on the boat and ride out to the sea on a train on a boat train we're on a boat train right now this is a, a train wreck of a boat of a train and we're just getting paralyzed again like what's that fourth time third i don't know but i decide i'm not taking this bullshit anymore i'm gonna switch out to my ride on as he goes into whimsicott and um the best thing he can really do is go for the leech seed i guess uh so that's what he is gonna end up going for I actually dodge it so a little bit of luck coming into my favor here as i managed to you know ride on so agile is the beast that he does uh, a swooping dive to the side and uh throws some rocks in whimsicott's face unfortunately i only get the two turner which is nice enough to break the sub but well it kind of ends up um not hitting him off Afterwards. However, I do have Mega Horn, which I'm going to use at this juncture to finish the Whimsicott off. And bada bing, bada boom, we get rid of the annoyingest thing in the world. Unfortunately, because uh, nothing's opposite me, I don't lose health from Leech Seed this turn, so that's great. Now, I made a really stupid play here. Um, I just stay in and Mega Horn the Tangrowth because I'm like, yeah, why the hell not? I might do loads of damage and it might be good. I do loads of damage and it looks like it's a good situation, but then I realize, oh, wait, he he's special and I should have remembered that and he's using Giga Drain and I just die straight up and basically he gets back all the health that I took off with the Mega Horn anyway so that was a waste of time really could have um, kept Rhydon around he would have been useful for later on but no I had to be an idiot I could have you know gone into Rotom and taken the Giga Drain but again just being stupid so uh, go into Admiral Cunt now she is the greatest Admiral of the West of course she's um, the, the, the Admiral of the, the train boat that we're on right now which makes most sense in the world unfortunately banded x's are as powerful as it is is not enough to fell the tan growth and uh get the sleep powder off and now well this thing's kind of ending up being sleep fodder because i don't want anything else to go to sleep I, I guess i can go into um my uh my moses here and try and fire off a will-o-wisp for the like the 70th time and perhaps paralysis will not in you know stand in my way perhaps will-o-wisp will actually decide to hit maybe some things could work here but i do take a hidden power fire on the switch in of course stealth rocks are affecting me as well so it doesn't look like a very pretty situation but um i'm gonna try for it anyway i'm gonna try try and try a million times uh, if at first you don't succeed, that's what you do. You try and try a million times to get off a will o But he actually ends up uh, going into the Typhlosion. I, I think I, yeah, I didn't go for the will o there. I just went for Leaf Storm because I was sick of mi missing will o -Wisp. That's probably what my thought process was. I'm done with Rotoms and will o -Wisp. I really have a really terrible track record with any Rotom and will o -Wisp, So I end up Leaf Storming. Would have been nicer to Thunderbolt because the Typhlosion switches in, obviously. But um, hey, Leaf Storm does do a decent amount. Plus, he's taking Stealth Rock damage on switching, so... 
works out to some extent. I am now going to go into my Slow King, thinking he's going to be choice locked into Flamethrower, because that's what he just used to finish off my uh, my good old Rotom. And I wasn't sure whether he was Scarf or Specs. Um, looking at it now, probably makes more sense to be Specs because of the fact that he's using Flamethrower as opposed to Fire Blast or something. Um, but the obvious switch to Tangrowth is like screaming from the rooftops. Everybody scream your heart out. And so Dwight, he's going to come in here with his fucking umbrella. Umbrella um, scarf and go for the flamethrower, predicting the Tangrowth switch, and I actually kill the Tangrowth as it comes in. But now he's going to go to Asalgor, which I was afraid of the bug buzz, but I thought I could live once. I'm going to stay in and go for a flamethrower and hopefully take him out. But ends up that he just wants to use Jeremy Clarkson as death fodder and just smash me with a final gambit. Fortunately, Sloking has hell of a lot of HP, so that is not going to take me out. Um, it also helps that Stealth Rocks was up, so he took some significant damage from that. Switch and kind of reducing his HP uh, to do damage with, and I end up living with 120 after lefties. So now goes into his own slow king, and man, I don't want to stay in and try and do bullshit with this thing. So I'm going to get some health regen from Regenerator. Go into my uh, my Galvantula Admiral Khan, and she unfortunately is not going to be able to wake up because, of course, sleep mechanics in fifth gen. You all know how it goes that you have to kind of wait uh, until you have been stayed in for a long time for to wake up and that is not how it happens because I only have one turn before I die I, I just get critted and hey that that's the end that's the end of Admiral Khan unfortunately uh, she'll be back you know she, she always does good work for for the for the ship train so that's that's how we'll call it anyway now I go into Swallow and I basically have no choice at this point he has Typhlosion and this thing left I have to go for facade and hopefully it'll kill it I'm like come on come on come on go down please do kill it please do kill it and it kills it but it's a critical hit. So, I don't know how much that mattered. It probably did to some extent. But the thing is, like, if he would have been at low HP and potentially my Slow King could have come in and finished him off if I had won the speed tie and he hadn't slack off, and then I could have killed the Typhlosion. So, in the end, I'm not sure how much it really mattered. But he ends up being Specs Typhlosion as opposed to Scarf, meaning Swallow out speeds, and I actually finished it off with a facade. So, that's how it goes. That was the game. It was really fun, actually. I haven't played RU in a really long time, mainly because I never make RU. RU teams and I just don't have that many RU Pokemon in my boxes but I threw some stuff together and hey it was it was good it was decent so I may look forward to do some more of that in the future otherwise thank you very much for watching guys uh, as always do leave a like if you enjoyed the video that um, that button is of paramount importance when it comes to uh, you know helping me out and uh, leaving me feedback etc and you can check out the previous video on the screen right now etc blood to tea to flee I'm going to go and sleep and I'm gonna actually I'm gonna go play bitrip runner 2 because that just came out and it's fucking awesome and I'm loving it a lot so I'll go do that you guys go do what the hell the hell you want to do with the rest of your Friday and uh, that's gonna be it thank you very much for watching goodbye